there, it's me, Rama, and as I was mentioning, you can do advanced features of customization for saving and loading. All I've done in my videos so far is just add the component, and then you're seeing everything that I'm doing in C++ automatically for you. However, now I'm going to show, show you how you can get involved using Blueprints to add your own variables to add additional customizations. So what we're going to do, what we had already, is that you add these um, objects to the world, and then you can save and load them. And the current variance between them is that there's the their position, their scale, and their rotation. But let's add in brightness as well. Now to do brightness, we have to have a custom material, which I've already set up to expedite the video. It's this material that has a color parameter. It's really simple, and it's metallic. That's metallic. And it's simple and metallic, right? Well, that's fine. We'll save that. Now, we have this static mesh that has a Rama save component. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a custom variable to our blueprint, to the actor blueprint. This is the component, and this is our main blueprint. Here's our variable list for the main blueprint. So over in our graph, <laughs> I'm going to make this slightly bigger. Over in our graph, I'm going to add a new variable, and I'm going to make it a float that I'm going to call brightness. Now this variable brightness is going to control the material instance. Now I've made a custom event which you can do using custom. Type in custom. I can spell. <laughs> Type in custom, add custom event, and then I'm calling this set brightness. I'm getting the static mesh. I'm getting material zero and creating a material instance dynamic of this material and then I'm setting that to be the new main material, same index, and now I'm setting the scalar parameter called brightness, which you saw in the material, and that's this one called brightness. Now I'm going to stick brightness over here. Make sure you open the eye thing so you can set it from elsewhere, and I'm going to set this value. Whenever we call set brightness, it's going to create a dynamic material instance and load in this value called brightness. So this value called brightness controls everything, basically. So how are we going to get that to be saved to disk, to hard disk, for saving and loading purposes? Well, the thing to do is, in the Rama save component, I have created an array. Let's pretend it's empty. <laughs> I've created an array, and this string array, you just copy and paste the name of variables that you want to save from your main actor blueprint using the Rama save component. So all you got to do is add an entry and call it brightness, which you can do like that, or for, for to make sure you get it right, you can just click and press F2, and then click on the component, and then paste it like that. Now to make sure that the names that you're seeing here are the correct names that I see in C++, go over to Editor Preferences, Appearance, and turn Show Friendly Names off. This will ensure that when you go to copy and paste names, that you actually get the correct name from here. When you press F2, it won't have. If you have underscores or spaces in your variable name, uh, UE4 does a little um, magic under the hood to make it look prettier. But that can that interferes with the save system's ability to recognize the variable. So make sure show friendly names is turned off at all times while using my save system, otherwise you'll be very confused as to why things aren't working when they should. Default value of brightness is going to be zero. Over in our event graph again, we're going to call this event and we're, it's going to put in this brightness value. But we have to set the brightness value. Over in the level blueprint, I have this set up here for creating this mesh when I press the K key. After I spawn it, in addition to setting its random rotation and location arrangement, its transform, I also need to say set brightness. And the brightness can be a random float in range. And I'm going to say 0 to 3. All right, I'm going to set it. And now I have to call the event set brightness because I've changed the value, but now we have to do this next critical piece of actually changing the material instance. Okay, now over here, remember I have these Rama 
save and load events. So you see Rama saved a file, plug it in here. I actually still want to see that message just so you know when I press the button. And then there's these again are static functions that you can access, static blueprint nodes that you can access from anywhere in your whole project, player controller, character class, anywhere at all. All right. Notice destroy actors before load is set to true to make sure you clear the world before loading in the new one. Now I'm going to go in game and I'm going to make a whole bunch and notice how some are bright and some aren't because the brightness value is being set randomly. Now this, if I save this, this isn't going to completely work. It's going to load more random values. See how it's not loading? The brightness is always zero now. The brightness value isn't being saved completely, or actually it is, but it's not being reloaded. This is something you'll encounter very often when you're trying to use my save system with your project. You put in the value brightness, and then you load it, and it's not working. Now the reason it's not working is because a lot of game mechanics don't just magically work when you change variable names. You have to reinitialize the state of that actor. Remember we had set brightness over here? I don't think I need this right now. We had set brightness as an event that when it's called, it uses this value called brightness to actually set them, to create the material instance and then actually set the value. So brightness is a value that I'm saving for you as part of my save system, but you need to actually make sure that the event this event that sort of stimulates, that uses the variable to actually reinitialize your actor actually happens. So how do you do that? How do you know when to call set brightness knowing that this value will have been loaded? That's the purpose of one of my events. Okay, now I need details again. <laughs> I have two events for you that you can override in Blueprints. You can always create your own, but here's two that I've overridden for you. If you... <laughs> I have a small screen resolution. If you see, this event's called Actor Fully Loaded, and this one's called Pre-Save. So I'm going to say, when the actor's fully loaded, I want to know about it. So you just click on the component, and you click on the appropriate plus arrow, and then you get this new event that's part of the component, but you're within the actor blueprint. This is the SMA actor, the static mesh actor. And you now have this event which that will tell you when the game state of this object has been fully reloaded from hard disk. And that's when you call set brightness. Because now you know that the game has been fully loaded. Game has just been loaded. Right? And you have to make it red, of course. Okay. So now we're actually using the value that was loaded from hard disk. We're running the event and making sure that the actor gets fully reinitialized after loading from hard disk. Save everything. Now I'm going to go back in game and I'm not going to recreate everything. I'm just going to load it again. Ready? One, two, three, go! Look! Now the brightnesses are there, clearly, right? Before they were much darker and now we have the same arrangement we had before. You can rewind the video if you want to verify it. So we've now taken a value that is a little more complex, which requires you to reinitialize the actor after you load the value from hard disk. And all you have to do is really two clicks. Let's pretend it's not there. You click on the component, you click on the plus arrow, it gets created, and then you reinitialize the state of your of the actor from the variable that was just loaded from hard disk, which I'm informing you about here through this event. That's how you load custom variables that require custom behavior after loading has occurred.